Hi, my name is Lee. Welcome to Alpha Web Design. Now, in my last video, I showed you how you can create your uh, Shopify app with Laravel. Now, to be quite honest, that app didn't look very nice. Okay, it didn't, didn't look very good. It had basic fonts and everything. Now, I'm a front end engineer and I want my apps to look good. So, that's why today I'm going to show you how you can uh, integrate react into your app and how you can use the design system of shopify so your app will really look like an embedded app um, which really belongs to shopify so that's what we're gonna do today and let's jump right in all right so here is the app uh the way we left off in the last video and um in order to create a react app and import all of the components i'm just gonna um, switch to vs code right here you can see that i also created a github repo i will post it somewhere uh, in the description box so you can always follow along and maybe also copy some files if you don't want to just uh, if you don't want to write it down yourself or if you just want to see how uh, the way that I did it all right so um, in order to create react with our uh, in our Laravel app first thing that we want to do is type composer require Laravel UI there we go next thing we want to say is PHP artisan UI UI react in order to install react now it says run npm install and npm run dev all right okay so now you can see that webpack compiled successfully and um actually every, every time you make a change to your uh, react app later on you should always run npm run dev if you don't want to uh, type in npm run dev every time you change something on uh, on your react app you can also say npm run watch and the system will watch for changes that you make to your files and then it will automatically run npm run dev all right so uh, it has uh, installed everything or should have installed everything now let's check if it actually did we can go to our resources folder go and check out JS and um, now we should see components and we should see here an example JS file along with an app JS which uh, imports our example file and we can also go to our webpack.mix and we can see that uh, react was added to our webpack.mix and um, yeah we can see that every change that is made to our app.js will be uh, put to public JS of, of directory so everything should work fine in theory now um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to put this react app into our blade.php um, first of all we have to say we have to add this script right here then we're gonna create a div with an ID of let's say root let's go back to our example JS and make sure that our react app will look for an element root so this is the place where our react app will live and we will require or we will import all of the assets um, that are stored within JS 
slash app.js so we should have installed our react app now let's go over to shopify refresh the page and take a look if everything worked and there we go we can see example component i'm an example component which comes from our react app right here so everything works which is great and next thing that we want to do is now we want to install polaris which is the front end um, style guide by shopify we can just take a look right here what they are doing um you know shopify or we are creating an embedded app and an embedded app is basically um we can load our app right here within an iframe of um, this dashboard right here. So they give us this space right here. And what they want you to do is to make your app look exactly like uh, the Shopify front end itself. So they want you to use the same uh, icons. They want you to, to use the same fonts. And to make it as easy as possible for you, Shopify created their own style guide right here. And um, the idea is that they will provide you with components and you can just use those components and just basically just copy and paste all of your code and just you will just add the functionality to your components. As you can see, you can either import React components or you can also click on HTML. So they will also provide you with um, just the HTML structure. So you could also integrate it. If you wanted to, if you didn't want to use React, you could also just copy this right here and import it into your Blade files. You could also make um, some Blade components, however you want to. You could also use this for a view app. You could also use this for an Angular app. And um, yeah, so that's basically uh, the idea behind this. But obviously they work with React and they will give you those React component, which is very nice. So in order to install this first, we have to um, install the Polaris NPM package. So let's do that. Let's say, oh, first let's exit that with control C and say NPM I at Shopify slash Polaris. Now that it has installed our Shopify NPM packages, um, we can go ahead and look for the style sheet that we need in order to uh, style the components. So let's copy this right here and head over to VS Code and paste it right above our app. All right, and now we can go ahead and go to, let's look for a component that we want to implement here. All right. I'm gonna just choose uh, this component right here. I wanna add a navigation to my to my application. And I'm gonna go back to VS Code, back to my example file, and I will just replace it with my copy component. I will have to import all of the all of those components here and I'm going to run npm run watch. Now I can head back to my application and it will tell me that home major is not defined. That is because home major is an icon and we haven't imported our icon library yet or icon package yet. So let's stop the server right here and say npm i at Shopify slash Polaris icons. 
let us install that. Now we can go ahead and say import home major, orders major, and also products major. Save it. Say npm run watch. We're going to go back to our application, refresh it one more time. Now we get another error and it says missing app provider error. Now, why is that? Because we haven't wrapped our app within a app provider. Every app needs to be wrapped inside an app provider, as you can see here on uh, the Shopify Polaris documentation. So let's just quickly do that. Let's say app provider, let's import it and say here. Now our app is wrapped inside an app provider. Save it. It has compiled successfully. Let's go back to our Shopify app, refresh, see what happens. And here we can see our uh, component loaded successfully. Let me just uh, get rid of this right here because that's getting on my nerves. Um, just comment it out and let me go back, refresh. And there we go. We successfully loaded Polaris. We can see all of the components. We can see everything. Everything is working except for one thing. Now, let me show you one thing. Now we got a navigation right here. All right. Now let's click on orders. We can see that orders is not found and we can see that it's um, a error message or a 404 message from Laravel because we haven't set up our routing yet. We will have to set up uh, our React router and we will have to set up the routing within Laravel, within our Laravel application. And how that is done, you will see in the next video. All right, so stay tuned, give the video a like, give it a subscribe so you can see anytime I will upload uh, the next video and we can see how this is done. All right. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.